underground stem modifications. Stems present completely inside the soil are called underground stems. Characters of underground stems They contain nodes, internodes, scale leaves, axillary and terminal buds. They store food materials and become fleshy and bulky. They show perination. They act as organs of vegetative propagation. They are protected from herbivores by present in the soil. By the above functions, the underground stem modifications are also called multipurpose stem modifications. Based on the growth patterns and the parts which store food material, underground stem modifications are of four types. 1. Rhizome 2. Corm 3. Stem tuber Rhizome It grows horizontally below the soil. It is dorsal ventrally differentiated. It contains nodes and internodes. At the nodes, scale leaves are present. It produces adventitious roots from the ventral side. It produces aerial branches as well as reproductive organs from the dorsal side. Axillary buds developed into branches. These branches store food materials as well as maintain horizontal growth of the rhizome. Terminal bud develops and produces aerial branches. It remains alive even in drought conditions. Examples Zingibar officinalis Curcuma longa Musa paradisica Canna indica Corm It grows vertically in the soil. It is more or less cylindrical in appearance. It bears nodes and internodes. At the nodes, scale leaves are present. The axillary buds produce daughter combs. Apical bud is big and produces aerial shoot. Aerial shoots synthesizes food, which is stored in comb. So comb becomes tuberous. Adventitious roots normally develop from the base, but sometimes also from the sides. Some of the special adventitious roots kept the comb at a particular depth in the soil. These roots are called contractile roots or pull roots. Colocasia. Examples Amorphophallus Stem tuber Underground stems produced from the underground branches of the plant body are called stem tubers. The tips of the underground branches store food and become tuberous. These swollen tips of the underground branches are called stem tubers. Examples Solanum tuberosum Potato Starch is stored in the stem tubers. Helianthus tuberosus Jerusalem artichoke Inulin is stored in the stem tubers. Stichus tubifera Stichose is stored in the stem tubers. 
Structure of Potato Stem Tuber Potato is a native of South America. It was introduced into India by Portuguese. In India, extensive research on potato is carried out by Central Potato Research Institute, CPR, at Shimla. The stem tuber is more or less cylindrical in shape. It is covered by brown colored layer. It bears many eye-like structures. Each eye represents the notes. Each eye possesses a semi-lunar leaf scar and an axillary bud in its axle. The scar represents the position of scale leaf. The eyes help in vegetative propagation. They do not possess adventitious roots.